Hey everyone, this is Clayton Bluebasser86. I'm going to do a quick review and try using my new fish on spooler, my line spooler, and uh, also line remover station from Sportsman's Innovation LLC. Just got this in the mail the other day. Pretty excited to use it. It's a neat little design. Um, it's you can remove line with this and you can also use it as a line spooling station so i haven't used it yet i've kind of gone on a, a brief rundown or run through of the instructions uh, i got my spinnerbait reel i just got this back from the reel doctor uh, delaware valley tackle a couple days ago from getting uh, cleaned and taken care of so I had, I don't remember what line I have on it. I don't remember how old it is, anything like that. So it doesn't have an expensive line on it. I'm going to pull that line off and put some new line on it. And it's going to be good to go. It's been raining the last few days. So next time I go fishing, there's a good shot that I'm going to be throwing a spinner bait. I want it to be ready. So this comes with your spooling station. It comes with your regular wall plug-in it has a 12 volt plug-in so if you're mobile you're at the lake fishing uh, your boat might have one of these just your cigarette lighter style plug-in you could also use it in your vehicle so you could use it wherever you were not just at home uh, these are your spinning reel spool attachments I'll go over how to use those in just a minute and um, I guess that was all the pieces to this. Well, these are your uh, spools to remove the line. The line will go onto these. And uh, let me set the camera down here. These just pop right off. So after you pull the line off, this it attaches right here on the side. And you'll just pull this right off. Pull your line off. You're good to go. It's ready to roll again. Um, like I said, it mounts right here in the side when you put your line remover or your spinning reel spool holders on the side. Uh, this is your spinning reel spool attachment, and it simply twists, and these little rubber pieces will pop out of the side. And those are your, what holds the spinning reel spool in place. So you find whatever size you need to go inside of this of your spinning reel spool and you just simply turn it until it holds your spinning reel spool firmly in place and then you put it onto the side of your reel you give it a little turn and that holds it into place and you're going to use uh, you can use this to uh, run your line on here, and the uh, you can adjust the motor, the speed of the motor, right here on the side. Here's your little knob to adjust the speed of the motor. I can go ahead and plug it in here so we can see how it turns, how fast it it does it. Uh, it speeds up nice and slow, so you're not going to, like, throw your spool off at yourself or anything. But see, you can have your spool, and you'll just run it on here nice and slow. And then you'll just use that to feed that on onto the spool. I don't have any spinning reels to spool right now, so I can't demonstrate one at this, at this time. But you can speed it up a little bit if you want to i would go nice and slow that way you can control your tension you can keep it laying on the spool nice and even and this is actually a line cutter so when you're done spooling cut your line right there you don't even have to have a pair of scissors i have a pair of scissors but you don't don't have to have don't have to have them and that pops right off take your spool right back off you'd be good to go so let's do an actual little demonstration here snap that on Let's 
see how this works. This is the first time I'm using it, so we're going to see how this goes. Make sure you can see that. And we're off. Make sure I don't get it back onto the base of it. See how fast we can go here. We don't want to waste time forever unspooling this reel. Okay. This is the part I brought the scissors for because I wasn't real sure how you could get that line cutter in to your actual reel spool. So, here we go. Got all the line off the reel. That pops off. In comes off here. And you should just be able to pull this line off fairly easily. Bam. Gone. Got all my old line off the reel. Now, this is just a tension spring. So if you put my spool of line on here. Adjust my tension where I need it to be. Put my reel back up my rod. It's good to have this one back. I mean, I've I haven't been slumming it. I've been I've got a nice Daiwa Fuego. I've been using it instead, but I've got this SV Tatula that I would really like to be using when you've got something nice like this you kind of like to use your nice stuff I have a hard time stringing these t-wing reels I don't know why seems like it should be easier because it's a bigger bigger area yep see I went under the bar always seem to manage to do that if I ever get this line on here we'll test the actual spooling station Sure, we got a good knot. Not that I should ever get down to the knot, but you know. Just in case. I always have these little cheap line spooling stations, so this is uh, first for me, having a nice one like this. Got this 
Real filled up good. Let's check uh, how this works. If it's an actual viable line cutter. Oh yeah. Did that pretty pretty easily. All right. She's all spooled up, ready to rock. Now as I need is a day off. So, there you go. The fishing on spooler. Pretty simple little instructions, easy to follow. It's got videos on their website in case uh, in case the, you're not able to follow their instructions. It's not, I don't want to say they're the simplest to follow because it is, it's a, for being a, you know, fairly simple task that you've got. It's a pretty complex little machine. So if you need videos to follow, they've got them. If not, you got your written instructions. The, the hardest part for me to figure out was the spinning reel spool holder. Shouldn't have been, but it was throwing me for a loop. I wasn't real sure what I was supposed to be doing with those. I thought these came apart or something, I guess, because of this diagram, but it was just showing you the parts. It doesn't come apart as far as I can tell. So there it is. Yeah, if you want to go check it out, sportsmansinnovations.com, made in the USA. Everybody liked that. So... Go check them out. Thanks.